tax season, many scammers try to trick you into giving them your money. Well, the latest scam includes calls about free braces from Medicare. Joining me today, Better Business Bureau President Randy Hutchinson to explain more. And you've received these calls yourself, several of them. Uh, I got five of them over a three-day period. And knock on wood, I don't think this is wood. I don't need a brace. Yeah, well, yeah. But, well, let's, uh, let's hope not, right? Well, you, what happens is you get a call from somebody. It's one of these robocalls claims they're from Medicare or a health insurance company or what they don't actually ever say who they're from but they say Medicare is going to provide you a free brace or braces in response to an inquiry that you or a health care giver or a other caregiver made on uh, uh, on your behalf nobody ever inquired on my behalf right and that uh, again Medicare is going to pay for it uh, they need your Medicare information, other information, then once they get it, uh, they may send something through the doctor at that point, or in some cases doctors are complicit, but at the end of the day, they bill Medicare for hundreds to thousands of dollars uh, for a brace that uh, you didn't need, may never get, although in many cases people do get them. How much information did they have about you? Did they know any of your health care providers or your name when they called? No, no, and, and, and every call, I got five of them, Every call said, this is your last notice, until I got the next call, which right. was the last notice. So, uh, you know, there was one lady uh, uh, reported that she got five different braces for different parts of her body from five different companies that ultimately Medicare paid $4,000 for. My goodness. Now, the other thing, too, is some of these people that do have caretakers yeah. may not necessarily and they take advantage of the elderly and of course one of the things they count on is that Medicare receives over a billion claims a year and apparently only about three percent of those are reviewed by a person the rest of them just kind of go through the system and uh, get paid now I recently got a notice too it was something completely different yeah. it had to do with car insurance but it really had no bearing I got the same yeah. you know this is your final notice you didn't get the first would, one. Would that is that something? Yeah, is that something <laughs> yeah. though that they usually use to prey on it, you it's too? It's to create a sense of urgency, right? And so you'll react immediately. You know, the, the 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 good news is, just last week, the Department of Justice and other law enforcement agencies busted uh, 24 individuals, 130 companies. The individuals been indicted. The companies, I'm not sure exactly what's going to happen to them, who were uh, helping to perpetrate this scam. Uh, uh, some of the individuals were doctors, mm. uh, and uh, others were executives of call centers in the Philippines and Latin America. Uh, however, I still got another call. So either it was the last gasp of these outfits, or what is probably more likely is while they got some, there's still others Something out there. Something different, absolutely. Yeah. Hang up. Always Hang up, check on the call. Uh, don't give out information, Medicare or any other information in response to an unsolicited caller. Uh, don't answer in the first place, really, if it's a call you don't recognize. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you get your Medicare statement and there's charges on there that are not uh, correct, file a complaint. All right. Thanks, Randy. We appreciate it. Glad you knew better. <laughs> the president of the BBB is not the one that you want to scare. A little creakier right? than I used to be, but I don't <laughs> need braces yet. Good for you. So.